Okay, this is the V11 uh, release with uh, autopilot and FSD beta, all the same stock. And I'm heading home after picking up pizza, but I wanted to take a route that used to not use the FSD beta. Okay, I don't know what it's waiting for there. It's bright still, it doesn't like it. Anyway, I already did this uh, route once today and I was pretty impressed with how stable it was, how uh, good the, well, the visualization and just the smoothness of it. Some mistakes it did not make. Uh, I think I probably could have driven it without an intervention, uh, except for the occasional accelerator. Usually that's what it is, it's the accelerator. It has nothing to do with uh, the decisions it's making per se, except that it could be more de decisive. It could speed up a little more to get into a lane um, or start going the speed limit to get into a lane. That's usually the mistakes it's making. So this will be um, getting onto a freeway basically, not a really fast one, but 80 kilometers an hour where uh, in the past it would switch over to the old uh, autopilot code. And this time uh, it is getting onto the freeway, uh, onto Crowchild here in Calgary, and it will stay in FSD beta and you'll see the visualization and also uh, how smooth it is. I would say it's better than autopilot was just because of the fact that it's not making the same phantom braking mistakes that it was. So that is the, the major improvement that I have seen getting off into the onto the freeway uh, does seem to be usually smoother this is not I don't that's not smooth at all so still makes mistakes let's see if I can let it go now all right we can go there's nothing it needs to wait for here it could be just the glare from the sun I don't know it, and it's not getting over lane okay not perfect this time and it did merge right very nicely there so my previous drive I had to hit the accelerator to give it a spot to get in because someone was not being so friendly And it's usually underpasses like these where there would be the occasional uh, phantom braking. And there's a phantom braking on underneath 17th Ave that would happen every time, even with FSD beta. And I'm just, I imagine it will not happen again. Okay, I am going to get into another lane. I don't really like this lane at the moment, just to, to see that it is working smoothly, and it is me choosing which lane. Uh, and it will show that it will get in the lane when it deems it is necessary to get in that lane. So there's two things, a mistake, that it used to make was the phantom braking under 17th Ave. It's not this one. And then there was an exit that it would never take. It would always miss it because autopilot was just had issues on certain certain uh, off ramps or on ramps. So here's the upcoming 17th Ave bridge. 
that would consistently have phantom braking. For what reason, I don't know anything other than maybe the bridge and the shadows. So two things, it's getting in the, the, the correct lane very nicely. Um, I do not know if it will slow down to 70. Okay, it's not slowing down to 70, I'll have to look into that. But zero phantom braking, not even a hint of it. So major, major improvement. I'm going to have to check into my settings to make sure it's not uh, set wrong. Okay, here we should be getting off here, and we are. The only mistake is it didn't put the signal on. Okay, so, so far, a couple weird hesitant moves where it's not... Uh, speeding up where it should to get in like where it was getting onto the the freeway and an upcoming uh, issue that may exist when it goes around a sharp turn with a, a barrier we're going to see how well it handles that and in the past that's always been a problem and i suspect that it will be a problem again Hopefully when I do my takeover, it will give me the opportunity to, to report it. It's slowing down a little too quickly for, for this one. I'm going to tell it to get one lane over. It needed to slow down closer to here, but it sees a slow down coming or 50 kilometer an hour up ahead and it slows down like it's the 50 kilometer an hour sign. So some interesting traffic to deal with here. And well, you know, it definitely uh, made a decision to not stay in the same lane there. that situation pretty well it took the wrong lane when it went over that's not so good and it should have stayed one lane over to the left and this truck behind us is just looking to run into something I don't know you're just running a little too too fast and on the screen, it looks like he's two trucks. All right, so it's about to go green and we are not gonna make it through the next lights. So it's this, this uh, turn up ahead to the right where there's a bank, uh, like a, can see the meridian the divider it's pretty close to the lane so it if I'm in that lane it would definitely be a problem but I, this time I'm in the right lane so I'm just gonna see if it does a better job in this lane going around that curve my earlier drive when the the lights went for the train and the bar came down, it uh, didn't want to stop for it. So, but the, the light was still green, so it was a little confusing. So I stopped for it. All right, so we're gonna slow down just nice and smooth. Like, I felt like there were, there was one release during the dot 69 releases that was fairly smooth and then a whole bunch of them got really jerky. So I'm hoping the the smoothness sticks around this time. But I feel like uh, this could pass the wife test. 
the wife who doesn't like tech and is not convinced that we will ever drive like this autonomously. Oh, no, 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 no. Why are we getting in this lane? Okay, so it's going to do this again. Okay, that is just so close to the the wall there that I have to take over. Way too close to the wall. See it? Sent the message. And it's not something I really want to test, getting that close to a barrier. All right, here, if it tries to get in this lane, I am, no. There are parked cars in the lane. All right, so we need to get over now. Okay. All right, so that's uh, still a problem. But it is getting over to this lane in the past. It's been hit and miss. It's doing a good job getting over here. But back there uh, is always a problem. Sure, when there's no cars there, yeah, get in that lane. But when there are cars parked, don't choose to get in that lane. Seriously. This is an um, ongoing issue with uh, FSD beta, even with this latest and greatest v11 so many good things about the release there are obviously still going to be problems and this um, race towards autonomy is just going to take that much longer all right so i'm going to go park downstairs thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and that's it. See you in the next one.